Hi, welcome to Self Discovery Support. Thank you for joining. This is going to be a timeless general reading, and um, please make note of what resonates for you. And it's also okay if it doesn't. Tarot does not govern your future, and it is best used as a tool to help you find your best path forward, which is exactly what we're going to be doing today. So this is a general message if it resonates it resonates and if it doesn't it's also okay all right so i pulled a card at the beginning and it's the number 44 it's a bliss card and this this is uh talking about the crown chakra it's really bringing up somebody who is in a state of just feeling happy, aligned, good with everything. It's almost like when you have no more kind of worry, when you have no more of maybe, not that you don't have worry, but you don't have the investment in worry as a form of living. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's just finding peace with self, but even beyond that, it's more like just feeling quite on cloud nine, as they would say, because you have managed to balance things in your life. You've come to terms with and found peace with things. So I don't know if this is the energy that you're inviting in. Let's think about, let's look at what's coming in here. So bliss and it's number 44 so it's talking about stability as well tell us about this bliss card king of cups death and um <clears throat> king of swords okay so two kings already all right this feels like somebody who is you know what this is someone who is transitioning into a different state it's exactly this crown chakra energy of you may have been somebody that you kind of you know you were more emotional you kept a lot inside you know you were someone that <clears throat> maybe even hid your feelings about things away nine of wands here so yeah you're someone that has come through um some burdens some difficulties here like a very draining experience we have queen of pentacles here so you could be an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo but we also have the cups and the swords represented i'm seeing two stories here and let's let's try to pick them apart so the first thing here is I'm thinking that you could be this king of cups, this person that you have had to kind of, um, you were very sensitive, you know, like you're someone that you have had to kind of hold your feelings in, but it's almost like that's transitioning into being someone who is maybe not purely as sensitive, but also quite discerning, quite sharp. So it's almost somebody who is able to put the heart aside for a bit. Um, yeah. And almost like shift in between. So it's like you've, you're now thinking from a place where the thought governs and you're like connected in that way. And I think because you have um, this natural kind of ability to be sensitive and feeling empathic even to kind of have that transition happen where you're becoming a lot sharper a lot more wary about the world um i think it's because of these trials that you've been through like you've i think you've found that in order to push through you might need a little bit more of this quality Alright, the other thing I'm seeing here is, this is a Queen of Pentacles, okay, so I'm feeling like you're, you could be an earth sign, as we said, um, Queen is often like um, Capricorn, 
but it can be Vir Virgo or Taurus as well and it's somebody it's like you have these two options here you have somebody that could be a water sign um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio or somebody who else who is like Aquarius Libra Gemini but also in terms of personality it's somebody who is a little bit more sensitive soft um, gentle spirit and very balanced but somebody who is also maybe a little bit more um, intellectual and communicative somebody maybe even who is not afraid to tell you how it is um, this is someone who has like a sharp wit and intellect but may also have a sharp um, tongue sometimes and it's like this is a, a kind of ongoing situation it does feel like it's almost like you're coming out of a phase of dealing with somebody who was like this transitioning into a new phase with this king of swords with the knight of cups here it does tell me does feel like there is definitely a new horizon here okay tell me about this All right, three of cups. Okay. And so we, we get a little bit more information where it's like you are trying to pull together the courage to to move. Yeah, it's like I'm moving from one situation into the other. Scorpio and Leo energy here. It's, I feel like it's, I want to say it's like learning from one lesson and moving into the other. There is, um, I'm feeling like this could be you as well. Like you're somebody that is, you're figuring things out. Like and because of that, there's some kind of like decision to come into some kind of, um, come into some kind of union with somebody. Yeah, eight of pentacles here. And I've, with the bliss card, if we come right back to that, this is a situation which I think because you've you felt less burdened, you felt a kind of ease. And if you don't feel that it's coming in for you, you're going to be able to, I think this, this change that's happening, it feels like one partner for the other. It's like stepping out of one thing into the other, um, making one choice for the other and trying to pull yourself together enough to separate from this past or this past self as well to find this new opportunity this new person and this new way of being that's going to be the thing that brings the stability and the bliss but it's, it's almost like a conscious decision with that crown chakra and king of swords energy here okay guys so um, let me get a little bit of potential outcome and advice. Potential outcome here. Nine of Swords advice. All right, so I feel like you are somebody that, yes, Ten of Swords endings here. This transition is one that it's like it needs to happen. Um, I think you are a little bit afraid of, you are a little bit afraid of the changes that are going to come. Like, I think not knowing what, is ahead of you is something that is potentially yeah it's a little bit scary like you just call it what it is it's scary to think about change but the advice here is ace of cups choose the new fulfilling opportunity that comes your way because it does feel like there's a, a kind of push to let go off of this thing here ten of swords nine of swords death like you couldn't get more of a strong symbol of it's time to say goodbye in a way <laughs> ace of cups there is a new you a new relationship a new connection waiting here so guys this was your reading if you like this please do like comment and subscribe 
and I would love to have you back here again for another reading. Take care.